Good morning and welcome back. So I just wanted to give you a quick update of where I'm at. I have applied probably 15 or more coats of the True Oil to the guitar. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the back. I think I'm going to leave this as is and uh, maybe put one or two more coats on the top just for good measure. Um, when I'm done with the last few coats on the top, my plan is to let it sit for about a week. And then I'm going to use these buffing wheels here. I bought two of them because I will use some uh, rubbing compound. I'm debating uh, between like a turtle wax rubbing compound or I've had this, uh, this musician's friend guitar polish probably a little less abrasive. I'm thinking of maybe using this um, for the rubbing compound portion of it um, instead of like a turtle wax. And then again I'm debating between maybe like a, uh, a turtle wax final wax or this uh, Birchwood Casey gunstock wax which I figure I put the True oil from Virtue Casey on it. I might want to just use the Virtue Casey wax. So I'm, I'm doing a little bit more research. Not sure exactly which way I'm going to go. Probably the guitar polish and the gun wax. Um, I think that'll do fine. I, I have put about four or five coats of True oil on the neck, and I'm pretty happy with how, that, how that's turned out. So I'm letting the uh, back dry with its final coat. My plan after that will be to uh, level the frets, polish them up, get them all prepped and ready, and then mount the neck, drill the holes, make sure I've got all the uh, alignment correct. I'll try to take a video when I do that, um, mounting the neck, drilling the holes, and aligning the neck. I think that's probably the most important part about the guitar is getting the neck aligned proper and making sure that it's actually going to play well as a guitar. So um, I did get a new um, bridge here. I did have the older style, or the newer style I guess you'd say, uh, um, modern bridge. Each one of these uh, is individually intonated. But I really like the style of the older vintage look. Um, what I liked about this is it was really open and um, there was no metal in the way of your hand while you're playing. Um, but this new style I found off of Etsy. And uh, I can throw a link in this to where I found it so you could grab one. But I like it that it has the Fender, official Fender, uh, stamped into the casing and that the sides have been taken down so there's no metal in the way when you're playing. Also it's got brass um, instead of the standard steel which I think uh, from the videos and things I've watched the brass gives a little bit punchier of a sound but I did want the compensated saddles so you can see the angles on these are uh, compensated you get a little bit better uh, bite on the string and they're individually uh, adjustable here. But I do like the vintage. Uh, it breaks it up a little bit, gives it a little bit um, a little bit of pop with the brass and just a little cleaner uh, look I believe. I'm even thinking of getting one of those ashtray type covers and playing around with that. But I don't know, that'll stop me from palm eating and all that fun stuff. But it's the reasons why people went away from it. Um, also, too, I'm really debating between a uh, this brass, this uh, chrome ring here I have. Um, normally, there is a chrome cover on the uh, neck pickup. Um, I found this black cover from Stumac, and uh, I'm thinking that maybe it will give it a little bit more pop or contrast, I guess you might say have the black cover in the middle of a chrome ring. I also bought a black ring which is on its way and I might go black ring and 
chrome um, tele pickup because the chrome tele pickup in the neck is kind of a classic look. Don't know if I want to lose that. So I don't know if a black ring and chrome bridge would look good or bad. But decisions, decisions. They're easy enough to change out and to uh, play with it back and forth. So I will be messing around with that a little bit and trying to decide which direction I'm going to go. So I'm getting pretty close to putting this little puppy together. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a set of pickups, golden age pickups coming for Christmas. So I won't be able to actually assemble it till after Christmas. But I'm getting close and I will give you an update as I continue. Alright, hope you have a blessed day. Take care.